It's Freestyle Friday. Coming in hot with quick shots of inspiration on a variety of topics. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh. I remember when I worked in corporate America and I lived for Fridays. It was like TGIF, Friday, 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 like all the feels. And then when Sunday would come, it wasn't great. But anyway, happy Friday. We're so excited to hit you with a freestyle Friday. Freestyle Friday. I, I feel the same now every day. Like the goal in life, right? Is every day to feel like a Friday. But okay, it's Freestyle Friday. We're amidst the money series. We have part three coming up next, this upcoming Wednesday. It's going to be on investing in real estate. We are pumped for it. We covered part one, get your money right, get a killer CPA, connect with Greg O'Brien, Geo CPA. Part two, how to invest and grow your money, how to do it in the best way we know how. We talked with Barry Brooksby. That was an absolute fire episode. And we're excited with where we're going next. But we wanted to take a minute. Within the interview with Barry, we talked about kind of compounding interest and the power of compounding. And we want to just focus on that for a second. So there's a story about the power of compounding. And, you know, would you rather have $1 million now or a penny doubling for a month? So doubling every day, excuse me, doubling every day over the course of a month. Yes, that's what I meant. So there's this interesting video that's circulating around a number of, you know, people being asked, like, would you rather have a million dollars now or take a penny now and double the amount every day for the next 30 days? And as expected, I think most people are very right now focused. A lot of people don't have the long term vision. And so as expected, 90% of those people choose the instant million dollars now option. And honestly, I probably would have made that choice myself just a few short years ago. But this would have been the poorer choice because you wouldn't have, you would have shortchanged yourself by over $4 million by the end of that 30 day period. If you're not super into math like me, you probably don't believe that. So can you kind of like dive into how that works? Yeah. So it's so crazy, right? People are probably like, if you haven't heard this before, people are like, no way. Like, of course I would take a million dollars today versus you give me one penny and you double the value every 30 days. Like there's no way. But that's the power of the compounding effect. That's the power of, you know, when you are investing, starting is the biggest thing because having that grow over time is everything. So in the example, how does a penny turn into $5.3 million in 30 days by just doubling it? Let's look at it. Well, okay, on day one, you got a penny. On day two, you got two pennies. On day three, you have four. Let's fast forward to day 10. You've got $5.12. You're probably looking at the millionaire like, oh my gosh, this guy's a millionaire. I've got five bucks in my pocket. All right, let's go to day 15. You have $163.84. Let's go to day 20. You've got $5,242.88. You're now like, wow, I have 10 days left. This guy's got a million bucks and I've got a little over five grand. Like I got shafted here. But then the next day it's 10 grand. And then the next day, it's 20 grand. Day 23, you're at 40 grand. Day 24, you're a little over 80 grand. Day 25, you're at 167,000. Now you're like, whoa, all right, I'm climbing kind of fast. Day 26, you're at 335,000. Day 27, you're at 671,000. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm getting closer, but I only have three days left. Well, guess what? Day 28, you break that barrier. 671,000. And eighty-eight dollars doubled is one point three million four hundred forty-two thousand one hundred seventy-seven dollars. You're now three hundred forty-two grand ahead of the millionaire, <clears throat> and you've got two days left. Day twenty-nine, you have two point six million. Day thirty, you have five point three million. That is like that's crazy, right? Starting with a penny and just doubling it. And we look at this as in monetary terms where we realize this is life. This is how life works, right? Most people, what, want instant success, instant gratification? Totally. Yeah. They, they want that microwave success. Let me just put something in the microwave and it's here for me right now. But if you develop that long-term mindset, if you develop that, well, what if I just put one foot in front of the other every day? What if I just compound these good habits, whether it's these good health habits? whether it's these good business habits. But if I just keep putting one foot in front of the other, 
What if I just keep getting one penny better every day? What if I just keep doubling my penny every day? Well, instead of taking the million now, you'll 5.3 million. It applies across everything in life, your health, your business, your finances. So the compounding effect, taking that long-term vision, knowing that I'm going to keep moving forward. And if I keep this up daily and I keep getting better every day, I'm going to leave off way better than where I started or way better if I just took the quick money or took the easy route or took the quick road out. So that it's just such a powerful concept. You can look it up, look up the penny doubling for a month concept, the power of compounding. It's amazing. But that is what we're doing in our finances, in our life, in our business, in our health and in our marriage, in everything. You know, every time you go and you do one little thing for your spouse, for your husband, for your wife, for your son or daughter, for anyone in your family, just keep it up. Keep writing that card of gratitude. If you have a gratitude practice, keep writing every day. It's going to compound. It's going to grow. This morning on our pantry, I found a little note from Wade and it said, to my bride. And I'm trying to remember what it said after that. It said, to my bride. Oh, what did it say? I can't remember now. It was, it was so just, sweet. Just something about how he loves me. Love hubby. And I'm like, he's the best. Like, it's the little things, right? I want to share something I learned from one of my mentors, Cecilia Stoll. I heard her share this in a training one time. And she said, it was something to the effect of like, if you knew that there was a million dollars in your backyard, like, let's say someone showed you the stack of cash and you're like, okay, there's literally a million dollars right there. And someone went and hit it. And there's a thousand leaves over your, throughout your whole backyard. And the million dollars is hid, hidden under one of the leaves. Would you turn over every single leaf to find it? Most people will give up and never find the million because they may turn over five leaves or 200 leaves or 447 leaves or 999 leaves. But most people quit before their breakthrough. And I love that concept of like that million dollars or whatever that goal is for you, it's there for you. And I think the compound effect kind of does a great job of demonstrating that, of just like be in it for the long game, like shut the back door on how long XYZ is going to take you and just have an unwavering faith and belief that it will happen for you. And obviously it's going to take effort and consistency and, you know, all the things to build whatever you're dreaming of in your life, whether it's that incredible relationship or that dream home or, you know, a certain amount per month or per year or whatever status with your company or whatever it might be. But I think just holding on to the knowing that it's there for you. I love that. I absolutely love that story to drive the point home. And, you know, the million dollars under the leaves is poetic. It could be anything. It's, are you willing to do a thousand things to truly get what you want? If you want that, you know, amazing body or you're in a fitness competition or whatever you want, are you willing to do a thousand workouts to get there? Are you willing to do a thousand sales calls for your new business to get to where you want to be? It's almost like don't look up until you've done those thousand things. Just keep your head down. Keep flipping a leaf every day. What you can also do is you say, okay, I got a thousand things to do. How long do I want that thousand to take me? Do I want that to take me a year, 10 years? Do I want to do a 90-day sprint and do those thousand things in 90 days? So you can take that and sandwich that. I remember Tony Robbins when he was, he wanted to be a speaker. He looked at all the great speakers. He's like, wow, they're doing four or five maybe seven speeches a month. He goes, I'm just going to go do one every day. I'm going to go find any, even if there's two people, even if I'm talking to two janitors, I'm just going to start speaking everywhere. So he started doing 30 a month. So he was multiplying by four, five, six, seven times what the best speakers in the world were doing. And that's how he got good so fast. So the power of compounding, decide what you want, Know that what you want is under thousands of leaves and it's up to you to just start turning them over. Let's turn some leaves, folks. Let's do it. Have an awesome weekend. Hope this inspires you, leaves you fired up heading into the weekend. Peace. Only those that can see the invisible can do the impossible. So remember, you are magnetic. <laughs>